Hello. This is Maria Fernandez, and I'm here with the plant chickweed. I'm doing these videos to help people identify the plant so you could yourself make medicine out of this. What is chickweed good for? Well, it's a wild edible plant. So if you're hungry, this would be great to add as a wild food to your salad. It's abundant and so there's plenty and it's very, very nutritious. You could also use the plant fresh and macerated and put it in your eyes for dry eyes. You could also use it for um, eczema or psoriasis, any like dry skins. So right now I have some 100 proof vodka and 100% pure olive oil. I wanna make a, a oil out of this to make a salve, which would be great for um, any conditions of the skin. So I have a jar and I'm just gonna literally cut the chickweed from here, as you can see. Anybody could do this, even little kids. And the chickweed, it's great for ovarian cyst. Women who have ovarian cysts, this is a very, um, it works slowly. So opponents of ovarian probably after taking the tincture for at least three months to a year. It's a slow, it's such a it just it just takes time and what's different about herbs than drugs is that herbs work in a sphere like instead of arrow which drugs work as the arrow energy which is specifically for one thing chickweed is not going to come to you and, and specifically say oh i'm going to get rid of your variances it would say let's see what what's going to be or, you know Let's remove some of your fat. Um, remove any fat solubles in you. So it helps some women lose weight, which, I mean, that's nice, you know, right? Remove any fat. Um, so as you can see, I'm just grabbing and collecting the fresh plant. And this is, there's so much of it that I am conscious of how I'm harvesting and making sure that I'm taking the aerial part means when I take I take from the from the top part like one third from the top that way the plant if you needs to come out again it could continue to grow so you you know there's different ways to harvest and you always want to be conscious of like an opportunity for the plant to regrow and regenerate and create more medicine, which is really, really important. Chickweed, um, it's amazing for eczema. My daughter suffers from eczema, so I definitely want to um, make the oil and create a salve for like dry skin. And um, right now, the reason why we're looking for chickweed is um, when you have sensitivity to, to light and, and dryness, it really helps and what you do is you take the plant and you macerate it and it creates this cooling like you could feel it in your hand but if you if you notice it's, it's like very moist and then this is what gets applied topically to any dry like eczema and you just rub it there and hold it you know for as long as you can and um, yesterday we uh, actually put the chickweed on our daughter's eyes and they were like wow it feels cooling the light doesn't bother so it definitely works on sensitivity to light dryness um if you have pink eyes that is gonna be a good remedy to have um for naturally combating chickweed is stellaria media and she looks like she has uh 10 flower petals I don't know if you can see there but again she's edible so if for some reason you don't have food 
and you're watching this please like eat some stellaria media it's a good way for our god back like god flora to have real wild food hi zoe new marco how are you so i'm collecting some chickweed here to make some medicine i'm making a tincture and i'm also making an oil and i'm just speaking about the benefits and why it's such a it's such a lovely abundant plant that really helps us stay healthy and it helps in different ways and plants unlike drugs are sphere like and by sphere like i mean that they're they're not specifically just for one thing um for example aspirin when you take something like aspirin aspirin um is derived from the willow tree and it was uh you know purified extracted to be um to be used as one thing it's man-made and so it's it's specifically for like pain and when you take that one compound when plants have so many it becomes very arrow like energy it's just supposed to do one thing and when you take a plant and create a drug out of it you're gonna have side effects you know um so that's very important to know that drugs always have side effects i'm not saying herbs don't have side effects it's just different when you're using the whole plant and the plant is it's, it's acting in a round like um sphere versus very direct that's another reason why I'm a simpler. When you're a simpler, um, you do one plant at a time. And when you work with one plant at a time, you know if you have a reaction to the medicine. So you took chickweed and made you, you know, if you have a reaction, a skin reaction or whatnot, you're like, I might be allergic. So therefore, you know exactly what happened and you you say okay chickweed i guess you're not meant for me like we're we're not working together i may need a different remedy that doesn't have you and that you know because we are all different you know what works for me may not work for you and that's a reality and that's the problem with drugs like it's so specific and one-sided that you never know how it's going to interact with our bodies our diets our just our dna you know and so also making your own medicine you're not dependent on people creating these magic formulas right because i see a lot of medicine out there a lot of tinctures with all these like marketing terms that are very glorified like and and it's just marketing and like they've just put a bunch of things <laughs> in the formula and then you become dependent upon other people making that product for you when you could just make it yourself like you won't ever know like oh what what was in that formula that really helped me was it the mother or was it the lavender you know i that, that's why i like making simples because i know when i have anxiety i could just take lemon balm i don't need to take this potion that has lemon balm mother wire and everything i won't know which one worked on me so I like to be in control and if you're a person that likes control and likes to create your own medicine, know that you have the power because people's medicine are, are the plants, right? This is our sovereign right, you know? And I'm against people trying to um, legalize herbalism because once you legalize everything, then you take away the rights of people um, to create and treat themselves you know and that's just you know there's there's so many reasons why sometimes legalizations of things are not the best route not the best way to go but yeah see my jar it's slowly coming up and i'll have some wonderful fresh chickweed tincture what i'm gonna do with the oil because it's super moist is I'm gonna collect a bunch of the chickweed and sort of like let it dry out a little bit because it's so wet and last time when I tried to make a chickweed oil I got a little bit of mold on the top and so I'm trying not to get mold this time and that's what happens you you will eventually learn how to work with plants I mean there's really no wrong way you could scoop the mold out um, 
but you did you you try different approaches you know like you try one way oh, okay i didn't get that part right let me try it again and um you could learn by just doing one plan at a time and just developing that relationship like i have a friend who she says um, I made my mullen tincture and now I see mullen everywhere and I'm like yeah that's what happens once you like learn a plant that you didn't know its name and you didn't know what, what it is for and then you start using it and becoming acquainted with it you'll see it everywhere you know because your reticular activated system is now paying attention to things that has been expanded by the plant kingdom because now the allies are like well now that we're friends we're here we're here for you so and you know plant medicine comes to you like the medicine that needs to be used is right there next to your doorsteps basically you know and you don't have to do much you know you don't really have to plant wild plants they just grow right they're powerful all right let me do a little bit more um so i do these live videos i hope I am helping anybody who right now is, uh, you know, looking into doing their own herbalism, even starting out. And these are very safe. Like, I'm not showing you how to do, like, poke root, you know, which is poisonous. But the, the medicine is in the, in the dosage, right? So there's all kinds of plant medicine. And there's books. And there's different, you know, master herbalists out there that teach online right now with covid it's important that if you have time learn something new like learn a new hobby right um use the time use the time to educate yourself and you know benefit from the time given yeah okay so now that i have that i'm gonna pour the alcohol this is that simple and I just label it and put it in a cupboard for six weeks and my tincture is done like that's how simple that's how simple it is people no rocket science needed made with love thank you